Hey there. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to make something so fun. These make amazing gifts, especially for people who go to the coffee shop every day. <laughs> My husband was one of those people and so I made him a set of these for Christmas a few years ago. I just traced like one of the cardboard sleeves in order to make a pattern and he loves them. He keeps them in his car. He really hates it when he doesn't have one on hand. So I just took this one off my honey cinnamon latte. It just fits on like the cardboard ones do. Um, so I'm gonna teach you how to make it so that you can stop using the cardboard ones. Cause you know how they don't ever give you them if you have an iced drink and then your hand gets cold. So that's why we love these. These make really nice presents too. My husband's has, his favorite one is Star Wars material. But today I'm going to make one out of this fun peace sign fabric. So you need, um, well first, you need to go to my blog, pincutsostudio.com and get this free pattern. It looks like this. Um, this pattern has actually been on my blog for a while, but so many people prefer video tutorials. So I'm sort of going back right now and creating videos for tutorials that I only had written and photo instructions for and vice versa. So um, this video is a long time coming. You can also, alternatively, you can go to my shop, Pink It Sew on Etsy, and you can actually purchase a, a pattern with written instructions. It's a PDF version so you can print it out. A lot of people find that much easier than following along with a video, especially after you've made one with the tutorial and you just sort of need to refresh it. Those PDFs are there for that reason. So head over and get that if you want. Um, also be sure and like my channel while you're here and check out my other videos. Go to my blog and check out all my other sewing inspiration and content. And you can follow me on Instagram at pincutsew. So let's get started. You just need a scrap of fabric and big enough to cut two of this. And you need a piece of this Peltex interfacing. This is really thick stuff. It's sticky on one, well, it's sticky when you iron it on one side and then the other side is smooth. You can see I drew my pattern on there. This is what gives it its nice shape. It's washable and it'll, it'll just mold the right way. So you'll need to get some of this. It's not expensive at all. And one of them, one half yard, I think is gonna make like many, many coffee sleeves. I just like to have some on hand for projects like this. So first thing we're gonna do, oh yeah, you also need Velcro, the sew-in kind, not the stick-on kind. So since my fabric is directional, I don't wanna just fold it because then they'll be upside down on this side. So I think what I'll do is cut it in half and I will stack it. So it'll look like this. Okay, so then I'm gonna cut out this. It's sort of counterintuitive. I have made a few of these upside down because intuitively I thought it went this way. But the shorter side would be the top of the cup, but the cup is shaped the opposite way. So the that's why I labeled the top. Okay, so you're gonna cut two back to back. Like so. And then you're gonna cut the interfacing pattern out of your Peltex. I already traced mine on with a pencil. Okie dokie, here's your pieces. The first step is to put your fabrics or your main pieces right sides together and we're gonna stitch the sides and the top. Leave the bottom open, including this little angular piece. All right, I sewed that in a quarter inch seam and now I'm going to Trim the corners so they turn right side out nice and neatly. Okay, so now you can turn this right side out. Thankfully all my peace signs are right side up. You can use a chopstick to gently poke these corners. Like 
to sort of move it along here to get this edge out nice. And now I'm gonna go press it with my iron. Okay, so now this is the only sort of fussy part. Which way? This way, sort of match it. See, it didn't, didn't fit this way with the angles. It goes this way. It doesn't really matter which side is the sticky side. In fact, it wouldn't matter if yours isn't sticky at all. So you're gonna slip this inside. Try to get the seam pushed down or up one way or the other and don't get it all bunched up in there. I try to move it underneath my, my Peltex. And then you're gonna have some room down here at the bottom. And what I'm gonna go do, once I get it in there, is I'm gonna go iron closed this bottom of this. So this will get pressed, this will get pressed in, this will get pressed a quarter inch under, and it will be like this. It takes some time, just take your time with your iron and keep moving it along, and it'll work out. I forgot to say. <clears throat> um, you want to make sure it's this angled side. It's okay for the Peltex not to be over there. You want to shove it all the way to this other side. This is going to be the Velcro flap, so it'll be okay. It'll be better if it's free of Peltex because it'll be easier to sew the Velcro on. So shove it all the way into the other end. Okay, here's how mine looks now. You can see I pressed under the entire length on both sides. It kind of is made easier by the fact that the Peltex is sticky because once you iron this part down, it sticks. <laughs> so now I'm just going to get some clips or pins if you can get them through there. These clips are really nice though. I will link this little tool down there in the show notes. Show notes, <laughs> like I'm a podcaster or something. In the YouTube notes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and top stitch all the way around here at an eighth an inch away from the seam. Okay, I top stitched it. Now I'm going to take my pattern again and you can see there's lines here. Those are stitching lines because that's where it's going to fold. So instead of marking up my fabric, I don't usually like to put my, my choco liner on white fabrics because it doesn't always wash out. So I like to just use a piece of tape. I'm going to set this here. I'm going to line it up where the stitching line is. Both sides. So that's going to help me. I'm just going to sew on the outside of this tape. Okay, I sewed those, so now I can remove the tape. And we're almost done. Oh gosh, I just spilled my coffee. Well, I might have just ruined a pattern, but you would think that would keep me from drinking coffee in my sewing room, but it won't. <laughs> okay, so where was I? Now you can decide which is the front and which is the back. I think there's more hands showing on this side so I'm gonna make this the front so I'm just gonna lap I'm gonna use my stitching lines to fold it and then this is where you're gonna place the velcro so this loose flap should go on top the one that doesn't have peltex in it I'm gonna cut a piece of velcro and instead of just cutting it a total rectangle well let me do this side first this one will go on the inside. So I like to sort of shape it to the flap. So I'm gonna cut it at a short angle here and another little angle here. And put that on this other side and just mimic it. It just sort of makes sure that no Velcro is sticking out. Okay, so I'm gonna go sew this piece here and then I'm going to sew this piece here to match it. When you sew on Velcro, you just simply sew around all the edges. Okay, I'm done. 
I like the contrasting yellow thread I used. I think that looks really cute. So now, all the last thing to do, I'm just gonna attach these. And I'm just gonna go iron the heck out of this so it stays flat. It pretty much does already, but I just like to give it a real good press. Okay, there we go. And since it has Velcro on it, it's adjustable. Sometimes my husband gets a venti, and so he likes it um, to fit both. So here we go. My new coffee sleeve on my cinnamon latte. I hope y'all like this. Um, like I said, be sure and check out the channel in future weeks, coming weeks, because I'm reposting a ton of, not reposting, I'm creating videos for a lot of my older tutorials. So also go check out the blog if you want more sewing inspiration. And like, share, leave a comment. I love to hear from y'all. Cheers.